Every Thursday, we're digging into the biggest unsolved crimes in our community. And tonight, it is two robberies in the Twin Cities. One, a very old case in Eden Prairie. The other, a fairly new one in Coon Rapids. Danny Spiewak lays out the evidence in each and shows how you can help. April 18, 1989. A bomb squad and scores of police officers respond to First State Bank of Eden Prairie. Three masked men with machine guns bombard a security guard as he's loading money into an armored truck. They broke free, grabbed the money that they wanted, and took off. Nobody got hurt, but the three men got away with nearly $1 million. And just minutes later, one of the first on scene was Bill Weifels, now a captain, but then a patrol officer in just his third year. That's the scene as I saw was two security officers, a truck with the back doors open and no suspects. Police later found the suspects stolen cars. Sketches of two of them were published in the newspaper later that year, but police never found them or the money. Hopefully somebody knows something that would be able to help us put closure to this unsolved mystery. At the time, police said the case appeared linked to other robberies. A year later in 1990, NBC aired an unsolved mystery special. Eden Prairie, Minnesota. That reenacted the robbery. Another vehicle pulled up in front of the armored car, cutting off any route of escape. But the NBC special never got police any closer to the suspects. The 1989 case in Eden Prairie doesn't have the luxury of surveillance video. But in a recent case in Coon Rapids, the footage might be the key to solving a robbery. It happened in April 2018 at this premium gas station. Daylight hours, 7.30 in the morning, literally a half a block from the police department. Detective Brian Eichner says surveillance footage clearly showed this suspect outside the gas station before putting on a ski mask and going inside and confronting the owner. Came up to the front counter, pointed a semi-automatic handgun at him and demanded cash. He got away with less than $100. The department posted video of the suspect to social media and got thousands of shares. I believe somebody would recognize this individual and call us. But nobody has yet. Police are eager to solve the case for the owner, who is admired across the community. It has stuck with him, uh, what happened to him that morning. I would love uh, to be able to give him some closure. Police in both of these cases hope the renewed publicity will lead to new tips from you, the public. We have contact information for both police departments on our website right now. And to look at other unsolved cases in Minnesota, you can head to care11.com slash unsolved.